test solutions, trigonometric identities. So we had a test problem with this orange line and here are the solutions for those problems, right? There were five problems on trigonometric identities in this test and these are the five consecutive videos on their solutions. So this one is sine square x plus cos to the power of 4x equals to cos to square x plus sine to the power 4x. So what we can do is we can start from either side. So let's start from the left side. So left side is sine square x plus cos to the power of 4x. So what we can do is we can write cos to the power of 4x as cos square x whole square, right? We can write this as cos square x and whole square, correct? Now, now we'll write cos square x as 1 minus sine square x. So we have this as sine square x plus 1 minus sine square x whole square. We prefer to do this because we need sine to the power of 4x and that will give us sine to the power of 4x, correct? Now let's expand it. We get sine square x plus this gives us 1 minus 2ab which is 2 sine square x plus square of this will be sine to the power of 4x. Now we can open this bracket and simplify. So we get 1 and this sine square x minus 2 sine square x will give us minus sine square x. So I'll write 1 first and then this minus this will give me minus sine square x and then we have plus sine to the power of 4x and 1 minus sine square x is cos square x and we have plus sine to the power of 4x and that is our right side, correct? So this is how we are going to prove this identity. Now what we did here was, let's look at it. Since we wanted sine to the power of 4x, we started with cos to the power of 4x and we kind of squared it, right? To get this, so we know cos square x is equals to 1 minus sine squared x. So we utilize this and then we squared it and we know what a minus b whole square is what? Is a square minus 2ab plus b square, correct? Expanded it and got this result, right? Now here when we combined it, sine squared x minus 2 sine squared x gave us minus sine squared x and you know 1 minus sine squared x is cos squared x and that helped us to get the right side. So this is how we solve this identity. Okay, thank you.